In the last episode, we left off on one of our favorite free camping spots in southern Utah. This was our first BLM land that had designated sites, which turns out to be a good or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. It's nice that you only have a few neighbors and everyone is spread out, but on the flip side, if the spots are full, they're full. We got lucky and rolled into an empty site number 38. We only stayed for a few days, but the views were out of this world. Yeah, that's a great way to, to put it. Say that again. When you're at a really good boondocking spot, you don't need to be at a national park to hike. You just open your door and you're like in it. Yeah, this is a pretty cool kind of four by four trail, jeeping trail. It goes down into the quarry down here. Whoa. There's water down there. This looks like where most of the Jeeps maybe turn around and go back up. Cause this would be doable, but pretty scary. What do you think? I think we should go down there. This is just how we roll now. It's getting a little too hot for us in southern era, or, uh, southern Utah. It's almost 90 degrees, and it's been 90 degrees for a couple days now. We're in St. George. Yeah, St. George. Not so, for long. Southern Utah. So it's been a, a blast down here. It's been really great. We got to see Zion, and we got to hang out with a couple friends, and we got some great BLM boondocking spots out here. I mean, just look at these beautiful red rock cliffs everywhere. It's it's amazing. It's like uh, a giant version of Sedona. For it's us. really nice, yeah. So yesterday, today's Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday, we pulled into a boondocking spot, a BLM spot, and it wasn't the best. Our cell service was very spotty, and Sundays are my days with client calls. I had 18 calls today, so we need to make sure we have good service. Plus. There were some skeezy things there, like couches and spoons and stuff lying around that just made us feel kind of like, eh, we just don't want to stay there. So we left. We spent the night at Cracker Barrel. Luckily, there was something for that option at dark. And then we woke up early and we went to Walmart so that I could make my client calls. And that's exactly why I batch my client calls for on Sunday is because oftentimes we're in a spot where we don't have service so we have to deliberately drive to find service for my calls so we put them all on the same day so that I can make sure to connect with people so we just spent eight hours in the Walmart parking lot in the asphalt in 90 degrees sweating I'm literally in a pile of my sweat right now <laughs> I'm really gross gross so we put Moab Utah in the GPS it's four hours and 40 minutes away and we don't really plan on driving there the whole way but I picked out some BLM spots along the way it's always smart to have two to three options if you can there's free dumps along the way so uh, Utah is a really great uh, RV or state I think as far as BLM land and, and free dump stations and water so yeah it's gonna be uh, just how we how we move now we kind of just move a little bit lighter and and don't plan as much and that's the great thing about it so yeah you're uncomfortable it's time to relocate yep which is a little too bad um, because we were in a beautiful uh, Hurricane Ridge BLM spot we were there for only a couple days that spot was perfect and we left to meet some friends and obviously being in a van we don't have a way to save our spot so we lost our spot and we need to kind of remedy that I think we got to get a little pop-up tent or something because uh, it was just a beautiful, beautiful area. There was about 50 sites out there. It was a mountain biking area. So a lot of active... Recreational use. Yep. Local recreational yeah, use. Yeah, it, it was just a great clean area to, to spend some time. So there was nothing... That might have been our favorite spot so far. Yeah, it was beautiful. You could see for miles it was uh, up on the kind of the bluffs below 
below Zion, but above. But we got some good hiking in there. Yeah, it was great. It was great. So here we go up the road uh, north in Utah to get to some cooler temperatures. Yeah, and I can't say that a few hours driving, I'm not dreading it. I'm actually looking forward to just having this AC cool me down because right now, nothing is going to cool me down except for some AC cranking. Yeah, we did run the AC last night for about a half hour before we went to bed at Cracker Barrel. And that worked great. It was good. It ran off the batteries fine, and we obviously couldn't run it all night long, but just enough to really cool down everything, enough to then open the windows and turn on the fantastic fan and get it, get it uh, cool for the night. So Moab is not 100% open right now either. The town is open, but uh, Canyonlands and Arches are still closed at this point. But we went to Bryce and we went to Zion and both of those were uh, open enough for us to go visit and, and see the beauty of the National Park. Yeah, so and even if we can't explore the attractions. Yeah, we want to check it out. We want to see what we can see. And if uh, that doesn't work out too well, then we're going to keep moving into Colorado. Winging it. We continued driving for about three and a half hours, making it all the way to Green River, Utah, before scouting out our next free camping spot. At Devil's Canyon Road, we found a little gem and nestled in for the night. Early the next morning, I set up our portable gym and we got to work. So for those that are embarrassed or uncomfortable working out at campsites, all we can say is do it more and more often and you'll get so used to it. After hundreds of workouts for us at campsites, that's like nothing anymore. At first, I remember being very timid and shy and people are watching you. Now you just put your headphones in and you just smile. But we have a new set of problems now that we're boondocking. Are you swimming or are you? <laughs> the bugs are vicious here. We have, I don't know what these are, if they're gnats or what. I think they're gnats. They're just swarming us. And we have this bug repellent thingy. I don't know what that is exactly, but. That's a thermocell, uh, like little, little uh, propane burner. And it works great for mosquitoes. You can see that's not snow in the camera there. Those are gnats and bugs that are just flying around. So it works well for mosquitoes, but not for these little guys. So I brought bug spray out, that didn't work either. But you just gotta, you just gotta do it. This is what it comes down to. If you want something bad enough, you just have to do it. Sure, we could easily say like the bugs are too bad to work out and make excuses, but if you want it, you do it, you make it happen. And it's a great trade-off. We are out in the middle of this uh, U.S. forest land in kind of the middle of Utah. And yeah, there's like bones here, deer poop there. <laughs> um, but the bugs, they're not biting us. They just, they fly in your mouth and in your nose and they're just irritating. So we worked out for like 45 minutes. They really didn't bother me until the last 10 minutes. And now I'm just kind of irritated. It's just a test of patience. So next we're going to go shower and have breakfast and then hit the road again as we continue toward Moab. Right now we're somewhere between St. George and Moab. I don't know what city we're in. Yeah, and those that are interested in how we work out on the road, we pretty much use our adjustable dumbbells and we have our little workout rugs. This took me about five minutes to set up. Uh, last night we pulled in, I don't know, five, six o'clock, settled in, but we didn't set anything out and then Went for a little walk this morning. It was beautiful and peaceful. Yeah. And so we just did a leg workout. And I'm so grateful to do that because um, the past couple days we were like in parking lots in the city and you can't do this in the city. So when you have the opportunity, no matter where you are, you take that opportunity because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. That's rule number one. Yeah, normally we'd be hunting for a gym probably right about now, and we do miss the gym. Yeah, it's I miss been, the gym so much. It's been months, but uh, this is great, though. Most of the time, um, we have not had any bug issues. We've been in the southwest for quite a few many months, and it's been really, really nice. But uh, I don't know. It's wonderful. It's peaceful. and um, Feels good. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason to 
to be upset about a situation like this. This is just great to be out in nature, working out. We're about to have breakfast. We can shower in there and... I feel like a bee tamer, but they're not bees, they're gnats. <laughs> yes, they don't land on us, so thankfully. But uh, a quick stop here in uh, a great little BLM spot, and we're gonna keep moving on towards Moab. Yes. Colorado. Yeah. See the Rockies. You have two pairs of gloves. You've had two pairs of gloves this whole time. Yeah. We're in the Rockies. landscape of Utah changes ever so much Be <laughs> between like delicious. it's crazy it's between like pine trees and what feels like Colorado and then it kind of switches back to like that southern Utah feel northern Arizona feel yeah I think I like there's a gigantic jerky store back there I like big. Utah better than Arizona there's a lot more variety. Oh, that spot's right off the right off the road. Hopefully it's not very busy. Train tracks. 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. We hush up, Nancy. Travel road begins. Do you feel like we've crossed over a million cattle guards? Yeah. It's only good things on the other side of cattle guards. But otherwise, this is pretty beautiful out here, pretty open. So we're gonna wander around and find a secluded spot, hopefully. So criteria for our boondocking spots are flat, level, because we don't have levelers right now for the van. And we also like a little bit of privacy because we need to extend our stay by peeing outside. So uh, out here it is pretty much nothing. We saw one RV and there's not much around. So it's not super private, but it's, it's out in the middle of nowhere. So it should be good. A little bit of a tough entryway here. This is where the extra ground clearance helps a ton, which we don't have, but it's not too bad. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Just 
spare there. So this is just a great spot out here. Little fire pit, which we won't use. It's windy. Temperatures will be good. Lots of sun for the solar and the new lithium batteries. Your hair is whipping around. <laughs> How do you feel? Like this is our new home. It's windy, isn't it? It feels nice. Awesome. I'm gonna check our sophisticated leveler system. Let me uh, let me check. This. We're losing everything in here. Yeah, we'll check our level, and if we're good. Sounds good. Good little place to work out. Bullseye. Bullseye. We're gonna shut it down. Okay. So we're gonna be here for a while. We don't know how long. Yeah, we're going to try to do five, six, seven days. The full Monty. Yeah, the, the full extent of our little black tanks. Which is good because we dumped, filled. We did fill up gas. We have like half a tank left now. Food we're doing good on. Like we're ready to just sit for a little bit and get some work done. Utah has been great for free dumps and free water. Those Maverick gas stations are everywhere. There's even one in Moab that is 20 minutes away. Yes couple miles down the gravel road and here we are that's what I love about this you you kind of just don't know where you're going or what you're getting into so let's take 10 minutes and switch from drive mode into park mode first thing I always do is flip the seats around because everything that's like stored randomly throughout the RV right now. It gets stored behind the seats so that we don't have to look at it. So the seats get flipped first. And then basically it's just random boxes coming up here, water coming up there. If you saw our last video, you saw a little bit of what gets moved around. So our fruit basket, our water, and our storage stuff. We also put up our sun shades. Yeah, the solar screens, those block out like 90% of the UV rays, kind of like a big rig class A has. Keeps the heat out and it also adds a nice privacy layer. So it looks like a super dark tint up here, even though it's not. Okay. Sounds good, let's get settled in. Big one has two corner snaps. Throw it up there. And go around this guy. And then use these. And then you just kind of smush it on in there. Well, we're settled in and honestly, this feels really good. This is a pretty comfortable spot. You can see the mountains in the background and out the window there and it's just lovely. We're, we're a lot more stress-free with the new electrical system. We're getting more comfortable with boondocking. We've now, I mean, just in what, two and a half weeks, we've been to half a dozen spots i mean last night we went to one and just stayed for a night and it was it was great woke up worked out in the morning and boom here we are which we are moving somewhat quickly yeah but that's by choice and i think it's just because we were so eager to get moving and we did and we wanted to get into utah and we did we wanted to see the couple state parks or national parks and we did. And then we went to St. George and it was hot. So we left. And that's the beauty and the whole purpose of us having a van is so that we can just pick up and leave when we want without the big ordeal of setting up and relocating. So like, if we want to go, we're just going to go. And so that's what we've been doing. Um, we're here now. It does feel, it feels great here. I feel so at peace here. 
feel super calm. It'll be nice to stay here for some while and focus on our work, focus on our workouts, focus on being productive before we go back out and have more fun. So we just landed in here. It's about five o'clock. All of a sudden it got to dinner time. We're hungry. So I'm going to just whip up one of my famous stir fries here using some of my prepped food and it's going to come together in 10 minutes. We'll be eating in no time and I hope that we'll get some sort of a beautiful sunset today. I would think we, we will. It's, uh, it's pretty beautiful outside, just out the door there. Mountains and that sun's going to set hopefully right over those. I think it'll be pretty good. Yes. So dinner time, a little relaxing, some hard work the next few days, and then we'll catch up with you on our next adventure. So thank you for watching and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and follow along to see where we end up next.